what's up guys crunch cook here and welcome on back to a brand new command block tutorial video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a 2d top down perspective and let's get right into it all right so the commands for this tutorial is two commands and by the way sorry i've been like not uploading uh, command block tutorials lately it's because i kind of uh, took a huge break i think it was a month uh but i'm back and I will be starting to do command block tutorials, showcases, all of that for the matter. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is a simple command block tutorial. And if you want me to show you how to do the movement system for this 2D type thing, uh, 8 likes, 6 likes, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll definitely do it. Uh, I'll make this, this will probably be coming to like a part series, a series type thing, where I showcase how to make a 2D game such as this. Uh, this is a project I've been working on. If you are in my Discord server, uh, you would have known that I've been doing something like this for quite a while now. I think it's been like since I took my break, I've been working on this uh, every now and then. Currently, it's coming together. Uh, it's not finished. Not not. It's far from being finished, but it's a cool little project I work on every now and then. Uh, but anyways, here is the command block tutorial and how to do this. Okay, so first thing you want to do is get two... Uh, repeating command blocks the way you can do that is obviously if you've ever used commands do slash give at s command block uh just like so and uh yeah you give yourself one command block boom i have a command block wow that's super cool how do i use this you click l2 or, or whatever your button is i'm on uh, playstation so it's l2 there you go you got a command block bing bang boom uh so now that you knew know the entire uh history of command blocks and how to use them you can click on this command block which is a beautiful repeating command block the way you can do this is get your normal command block bing bang boom go to block type go to repeat bam you have a repeating command block it's not repeating yet because it's not always active it's you need it this one's on needs redstone which is what you need you don't need you need redstone yeah <laughs> uh, so it's a repeat needs redstone command and there's no tick delay on this and this is the entire command. It's so basic, so easy, so free. Uh, so it's an execute at E, type equals armor stand. The name is player. And then you're TPing the player that has a tag. If you don't have a tag uh, in this, then it won't work. Uh, unless you want everyone in your entire game to get TP to this armor stand. As soon as you want, you know. As soon as you want it to, you know. Everyone loads into the server and you're all getting TP to the one armor stand. There you go. H happy days. Enjoy your life. But then you want to do minus three. Uh, if you don't want to do minus three, you can do minus four, minus five, minus six. You can do anything, but you can't do minus two or minus one. That is off. Uh, that is off. Uh, off hands or whatever. Uh, then you want to do uh, another one, which is zero, and then another one, which is a hundred. I do not know what those squiggly lines are called. Please someone tell me in the comments what they are called because I have no clue what they're called. I just call them squiggly lines because that's the, what I was told when I was starting commands. Anywho, that is the command that you would want for this whole thing. This will literally TP you and make you face downwards constantly. Uh, the next command is just in case you somehow manage, somehow you manage to turn your head and your camera is messed up. This thing will TP you facing you in the direction that you want uh currently i have it making you face this direction and this will happen every 200 ticks so it's not constant because it's kind of janky and you don't want to have this happening to you constantly it's very janky but it's an extra q at p squiggly line squiggly line squiggly line tp at p the tag equals player and then squiggly line squiggly line squiggly line facing squiggly line squiggly line squiggly line one that was a lot of squiggly lines but you get it. it. It will TP you facing this direction. It's fancy or cool. I am speeding to this, okay? Uh, the next command is going to be... That is not it. Okay. Uh, everything there is useless. It's two commands. They're, that's all you need. Uh, but basically, this is your armor stand. So this is your player, basically. So if you are moving around the place in your 2D game... You want to have the armor stand be placed onto barriers or whatever you want them to be. And you want to ha set up your barriers like this, like a little border or whatever for your 2D game. Uh, this ensures that your uh, your armor stand will not be able to move out of these 
because I've set up a system for my movement thing where the armor stand gets TP. The armor stand is you, basically. And you're using items to TP the armor stand to place it, basically. And you are constantly being TP'd under this armor stand, looking straight down in this direction. And so basically, if you have an item and you chuck it down, the armor stand will TP in that direction. And say you move the armor stand up, like, all the way up here. Uh, and it's right here. And you throw an item. It will not go forward because it has a setting on the TP command, which is amazing. And it's like, test for blocks. And if there's a block in here, the TP command doesn't work, which is amazing. Uh, because it's really great for 2D games. Like, you can make this, like, this is what you look, this is what it looks like for you, basically. You're getting TP, but you can't go forward, basically. It's amazing. And uh, I'll actually just showcase it right now for you guys. Uh, if I click this button, it will TP me like that, and it will TP me like this. And if I uh, throw down these items, this is a custom texture back pack, by the way. So this doesn't, this will not look like this for you, by the way. And as you've just seen, my camera went up for a bit. That was the little test thing. Uh, but as you see, as you can see, I cannot move my head up, down, right, left, all this stuff. Uh, the janky thing is just to make sure that you cannot move your head no matter what happens. Uh, but look, if I throw my arms like this, the uh, armor stand cannot move through the the barrier because it, it's a block. And so you are not being able to move at all. Uh, and uh, you can do more things with this uh, 2D game, such as uh, containers and all that stuff. Uh, I've made it so that if I hold an item, which is a container, it will pop up this little, like, GUI thing, and it's like, oh, opening a crane, like, 3, 2, 1, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and it said I've obtained the swimming gear, which means I can go in the ocean. Be before, I wasn't able to go in the ocean, but now I am. Uh, I've also set up a PvP system where you throw down a sword, and it will deal, deal damage to an, uh, a mob. Uh, you also have health and gold. That's pretty pog. Uh... If I click on this, the barrel, the barrels are a bit weird, but they work, and that's the best part about it, you know. I got 50 XP. I will also be adding levels to this game. Uh, sorry if I'm going really fast, I'm just, like, showcasing this really easily. So, here's the mob, uh, your first zombie. I've made it so that I deal, like, 10 damage every hit, so I can kill him really fast. You throw down the red concrete, it resets everything, and you're back to normal, okay? It's, it's awesome, okay? It's, it's, it's awesome. Uh... But yeah, that is the entire like 2D down perspective type dealio. This will just constantly TP you down. And so as I said, 6 likes, 8 likes, whatever you want to do. Uh, preferably 8 likes. Uh, if you get this video to 8 likes, I will 100%, 100%, no doubt about it. I will, do, I will show you how to do the movement system in this game. And then, so on so forth, forth, I will keep going and showing you how to make a 2D game. I don't think... Uh, I'll show you the basics on how to make all the stuff that I've made so far. And if anything like I make that is like new, I will definitely show in the series or whatever. Uh, so hopefully I can keep this series running uh, like I did with making it better. And uh, yeah, guys. But anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy it and you uh, enjoy me returning back to commands, uh, subscribe and like the video as always. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in, this, in the next video. Peace. I can take you higher, higher than you ever